As economies reopen, governments are giving the go-ahead to tech firms to collect your information. The goal is that the data they're collecting will then help them find out where people are going, where you're going. Western Mass News reporter Jordan Jagelins are getting answers from home on some of these privacy concerns. Jordan. Chris, government agencies are turning to companies that are collecting your smartphone location with the apps that you use every day. In hopes of fighting COVID-19, many state and local government agencies are looking at different contact tracing strategies as they begin to reopen. They're collecting data, supposedly anonymously, off of our various apps that we use on our smartphones to find out where people go and what they're doing. Stan Prager, owner of Go Geeks in East Longmeadow, telling Western Mass News they're harnessing information from tech firms on apps you use every day to monitor who is going where. He's in California, where the governor relied on data from Foursquare that it gathers through its social networking apps to find out how many people were on the beach after reopening. And then when they discovered that more people were on the beach and probably too close to each other, they then made some changes in regulations. Which is raising some privacy concerns. You don't know where your data is going and who's using it and what purpose. Smartphone users may not even realize it, with location services automatically enabled in most apps. One thing you can do is not give a specific app permission to use location. Prager says if you're concerned about privacy, turn off your location on apps that don't need it, like your flashlight, and keep it for apps like Weather or Maps. But that won't solve the problem completely. Most of these companies are, are using what we call data hard Harvesting. So they're not using a specific app on your phone, they're using all the apps on your phone. You can entirely shut off your location services, but it comes with some drawbacks. So let's say you have a medical emergency. Your emergency, tra the location tracking that's in your emergency app won't work. If you lose your iPhone, find my iPhone won't work. Prager says today, everything we do is a privacy trade-off, and in a pandemic, it can be a matter of life or death. Decisions are being made here that might not otherwise be made because we're concerned about saving lives. Now in Massachusetts, the Community Tracing Collaborative here states that anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19, the state will reach out to their contacts by phone or text. Now, according to the state's website, they say that they will keep your name anonymous as well as any information they receive from you. Reporting live from home, I'm Jordan Jagelinzer.